In this video, we are covering how to sell your automation slash AI services. Um, I'll be covering you know, three different ways I love to sell AI services, and then also uh, what kind of requirements are needed to package them up in any of the three different types. So the first type is pretty obvious, a flat fee uh, plus an optional maintenance fee. That could look like $1,500 now and $1,500 when complete. You custom scope each of the systems out that you're building if it's very custom and then you charge a monthly maintenance fee to, to run the error handling, make small tweaks as needed, and uh, you know fixes and revisions, things like that. Um, the other way to do this is, let's say I already have a system that I've been deploying for a lot of you know, doctors or chiropractors. I've already priced the system out. Now if they have some small tweaks to make, I can, I can charge a higher fee to integrate that out. So you can price per system. You don't have to do a custom price every single time. In fact, I recommend having kind of a catalog that you can show uh, people who you're working with, hey, we also built this for this guy down the street. We also built that. And then they might be able to see, hey, I actually do want to have uh, thing B and thing C. So it's good to price those things out beforehand. And if they want to add something extra, you can go in and deploy that. Now, as for how to deploy the system that you're building, I recommend giving them or having them create their own N8N account, assuming you're using N8N, or if they're using Make or Zapier, have them make their own account. That way you're not paying for the usage, you're not worrying about uh, the executions eating up your bandwidth, and also have them create their own API keys so you're not getting charged per use. It's their own system and they own that system, but the beauty of it is you can charge a small maintenance fee to manage that system and you can still make some MRR. Um, so that's option one. I think that's the most straightforward way to start building systems. Um, and then option two, this is going to be the micro SaaS route. And I've been building this for an automation that helps uh, agencies with their SEO. And the whole automation is triggered from a simple form fill. So once a form is filled out with some information, our, our N8N automation can create a drive folder with all kinds of valuable information. And then it just shares that folder with their email account that they've given us in that form. So if your automation can be triggered from a, something as simple as a form fill, and then you webhook into your N8N system, I think a micro SaaS makes the most sense because you want people who are you know, just getting started, they might only use your system once a month, and people who are using your system 100 times per month, you can charge them on a credit system. You can, you can have them purchase tokens on a one-by-one -one basis or get a discount and purchase tokens on a monthly uh, basis. So with this, if your system can be triggered from a simple form or from some basic information that you can receive from the user, you can build a micro SaaS using a no-code tool like lovable.dev. You could use something like Bubble. Um, there's a lot of tools out there, even if you don't know how to code, to allow you to create a system like this. You just need a front end and then you need a back end, which is like Supabase or some kind of a database. Um, and these are cool because once you build them, you just have to market them and then people can sign up and they can purchase your stuff and get the product without actually having to have an onboarding call, having to scope out a project, having to get credentials. You know, the micro SaaS is a great place to be um, when you have something that people actually wanna use on a, a recurring basis. And then we have number three, this is unlimited projects retainer. This one is for that ambitious client that they know they have a lot of inefficient systems and they honestly don't even know where to start. I think this is more of a consulting role than the rest of them because you might actually have to go in and even interview some employees and figure out what are the systems as they stand now um, and then suggest new automation ideas to make their business much more efficient. Um, and this is the least scalable, I think, because you're going to be having to justify your retainer every single month, having to prove to the client, hey, we're actually doing uh, really good work and we are clear on uh, how long it's going to take us to complete the next task as well. So you have to be good at communicating to the client here um, and it's more work. But if you are able to get just five clients at $3,000 per month, you know, that's a pretty good income, $15,000 per month. Um, the downside of this is that this kind of retainer might not be as sustainable. Let's say you're building systems out. You might only have 10 systems to build in total. And even if you space that out, you know, two per month, you're only going to have six months in there. So um, I would recommend this kind of on the bottom tier. But I think 
you know, pricing them out on a one by one basis, um, or maybe even a package deal for five systems or whatever it might be is a great, is a great option. Um, and if you're selling the flat fee, I think having a niche is very, very uh, beneficial because you can develop kind of a service or a system catalog. And when somebody buys one thing, even if it's a custom build, you can then show them the other systems that you've built for their industry. And it's a very easy thing to upsell and sell multiple systems at once. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a quick one, but um, I think this was something I took a lot of time to figure out on my own journey. And so having it clearly mapped out like this is very helpful uh, for me to, uh, I hope it's helpful for me to share with you. So if you guys want more information, if you guys are building your own AI automation agency, or even if you're just in business uh, yourself, you know, trying to automate some of your own processes, you should join our free school group. It's linked in the description below. Just uh, request to join, you'll be accepted almost instantly. And I've got a lot more content just like this on how to sell, how to price, and how to build automations that can either save your business time or save other people's businesses time as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like and subscribe for more stuff just like this.